Hey, it's Caleb with Canis Mechanical. Today we're going to be reinforcing the front of my trailer. I uh, just noticed it looks like a hairline crack on it, which I'll show here in a sec. So I got these two pieces of looks like quarter inch steel. I got to cut the lip here off so they're flat. Uh, I'm going to score the middle. I can bend it around the corner on the trailer, uh, drill four, maybe five holes on each side of each um, to plug weld them after we weld all the way around. And yeah, I'm just, I'll just get started. Two pieces cut. Basically, just nipped the curved piece off of each so they're flat and then they'll fit nice against the trailer. And then when I bend them, it'll be basically flush the whole way around. All right, so I got a mark here. Uh, just gonna score it in the middle once the holes are drilled. That's where I'll bend it. Uh, five holes per side. And Here's the trailer. They're all easy to see. Where's my shadows in the way? But if you look, slight hairline crack. And the other side of the trailer's got the same. And I don't know if it's supposed to be like that, or if that's just the seam of the metal, or or if it's actually uh, cracked. But got my plates built now. Two of them. So I'll bend them, just score them and bend them, and then clean the metal on the trailer, and then get them all welded up later. So gotta pull this giant load 12 hours tomorrow. So try to get her sorted out before we leave. Alright, so we got this all cleaned up. Uh, my holes sit here roughly. 
Um, I was going to gr grind just a small groove through here. I might still try, but it's pretty thin. I think the metal is only a sixteenth of an inch thin, so I went went through right away. Um, but if I can <clears throat> do a small groove, then when I weld that, it'll penetrate a little better. Um, and then I'll be able to lay my quarter inch stuff over top of it without uh, without having to grind the welds down as much. But we'll see. I'll try groove it slightly and see what happens here. All right, we got a slight groove into there. Mark this one here. I'm going to notch it out and then we can bend that to match the, the bend on the trailer here. So, uh, go for that now. All right, we got our piece scored, bent, ready to weld. We're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. I'm not going to show that though because it's Basically the exact same thing as we just did. All right, we're back. I'm gonna get this thing welded up. Let my brother, Nels Industries, over there. He's a better welder than I am, so he's gonna do it. And it's his welder, so. Yeah, I got the pieces all ready to go. Professional amateur tip is weld down, not up. Because if you weld down, you're the it will all bead behind where you're welding, but if you weld up, it will all start dripping down. Check out Nell's Industries for more pro amateur tips. Pro amateur tips. <laughs> side finished I just got to paint it uh, we're not gonna film the other side because it's the exact same thing so thanks for watching